You need to repair your skeg, slider, or make a seat modification. Let's go through the step-by-step -step procedure in removing the seat from a kayak. These are the tools you'll need. Refer to the Tech Tools video for more info. A 7 16 inch deep socket or this tech tool wrench you can make by cutting a dual box end wrench in half will be necessary to get at the lock nuts up inside the seat. First step is using the wrench to hold the four lock nuts up inside the seat and removing the Phillips head screws. Once you get the screws out you can slide out the straps for the leg lifters and back strap. Disconnect the back strap and twist the seat sideways to remove. Once the seat is out, let's examine the Skeg slider box. It should look like this. If the Skeg isn't working and it looks like this, the vinyl tubing needs to be slid back onto the metal tube. Chances are the spring clip is missing, rusted, or needs replaced. A small stainless steel marine hose clamp will work. On the Composite Pro models, check under the seat for abrasion. If there is excessive wear, a repair may be necessary. This is a simple matte cloth repair. You can add neoprene or mini cell padding to the forward and rear flanges of the seat. If you want to move the seat back on a pro model, you may have to cut the back flange of the seat off to get it to fit against the stern bulkhead. Just reverse the procedure to get the seat back in. Once it's close, use the awl and screwdriver to realign the holes in the seat and deck and get the webbing and backstrap tabs back in place. Gently pry up on the deck with the screwdriver to make insertion of the straps easier. If you want to move the seat, drill new 1 quarter inch holes in the seat using the original deck holes. Once the four screws and webbing are in place, reattach the washers and lock nuts. Grasp the washer and reinsert over the screws inside. Same with the nuts. You'll find it best to set the boat on edge or upside down to use gravity to assist you in holding the washers and nuts in place. All that's left now is to tighten the lock nuts on all four screws and you're done. I hope this helps getting you comfortable with this straightforward procedure.